Have you seen Patty's Day? Well, it's been a pretty busy week here and uh, I haven't had a chance to work on much of anything um, but I finally got some time today I did get the uh, Ram Charger unloaded on Sunday and put all the stuff back up from the swap meet so I was hoping to have some extra time it just it just took all day so I didn't get much done but let's address that let's uh, let's work on the Ram Charger and try to figure out why it's running so poorly. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know why it's running so poorly and that's probably what we're gonna address today. And I'm going to pull the carburetor off of it and uh, go through it. So that, that's the plan today. Uh, I'm not sure we'll have much time for anything else because um, this will probably take a couple days to get done. But it's not too big of a deal and uh, I just think this poor carburetor needs some work and it's um, it should be too hard to get that done. The uh, carburetor kit for it's like it's anywhere from like $25 on Rock Auto or around $35 at O'Reilly's and so that's not too big of a deal I'm not just gonna buy a carburetor and put it on it because that's like $150 to $200 put a carburetor on it so yeah let me let's pull that dude off and um, kind of go through it and see if we can get it tore down and soaking so That wasn't so bad. A couple hoses, a couple clips, a couple bolts. And she's off of there. And yeah, yeah, it needs clean, that's for sure. Alright, I'm gonna need to find something to dump this out in. Um, and that intake is gross. It's so gross. So before we throw all this stuff on together. I'm gonna shop back it all off and try to clean it as much as I can because there's just all kinds of crud everywhere. And uh, let's look at this casket pile again. Can I get it off? Maybe. There we go. I know the new kit comes with one, so. Looks intact, old. But you know, the truck's old. So, <laughs> all right, let me uh, go. All I'm going to do is tip this carburetor over and get fuel out of it, and then uh, I'll look at cleaning it up. Look at that dirt. No doubt that thing is filthy. A couple small little tips before we get started wrenching on that carburetor of Ziploc baggies are very underused and underrated but I got all the bolts for the carburetor I got my clip and my other clip for the choke so I'm gonna make sure I put all this in here so I don't lose it and uh, put it somewhere where I know it's going to be because it might be a few days until we put this carburetor back on so we don't want to lose it right and then when I rebuild a carburetor I really like to try to make sure my space is kind of ready so I've got somewhere comfortable to see it I've got my carburetor I'm about to go pick up the kit from O'Reilly's so I'm going to pull it apart real quick because I want to get to this piece here to make sure I got the right kit and uh you know just it's all about taking your time i need to uh 
swing some things around here. So I'm gonna use a magnet to hold my nuts and bolts and stuff. And uh, my phone. Because when you're taking this thing apart, it's very, very important to take reference pictures of everything. So before I even start, I'm gonna take pictures of every side of it, top and bottom, so I can have a reference of where things go. And in today's day and age, there's no reason not to do that. So, so the rest of this, I'm not gonna go real in depth on because it's just taking apart the carburetor. Um, this carburetor seems to have a whole lot of uh, flathead screwdrivers. Um, as far as nuts and bolts so it's kind of all I do is just kind of start taking off one at a time and kind of going from there you know it's not it, it is difficult if you're overwhelmed and not wanting to dive into anything but it's not difficult overall oh yeah them gaskets are bad I was going to clean it all off first, but I think I'll take it apart and then kind of clean it piece by piece. But, got my magnet here. Make sure I throw my nuts and bolts back in it. Um, I just carefully start pulling it apart. Now there may be some things I leave together just depends on what they're going to be and I don't really have any advice on that other than just kind of looking at it and making sure it makes sense pull this tape off the main body there's a clip right here that I've got to pull off now you try not to lose it but likely there might be another one in the kit Try to keep stuff like that together. This has to do with the accelerator pump. Oh boy. Look at that, it all came out together. Very careful with this stuff. Try to keep it together. Don't do what I just did. Luckily, there will be a diagram when I buy the uh, carburetor kit today that shows where all this stuff goes. And this whole thing comes up. Here we go. Plastic pieces in here we don't want to lose. Boy, this carburetor is funky. Another itty bitty clip. Well, I'm sorry guys. It seems as if the GoPro lost about 10 minutes of footage here. Um, I don't know why. It just seems like it had stopped recording in the middle of the clip. Uh, I apologize. I really wish I had it to show some of the other details. Uh, there's just not much I can do about it. But I do have the end of it here. Alright, let me grab the... So I got a little bit better screwdriver. It's going to be hard to see, but down in there are the, the jets. So I'm pulling them out right now. Get a good screwdriver. Yeah, because they are in there. Did it come out? Cool. That's it. That is the teardown of a Carter carburetor for a 78 Dodge Ram Charger. Now i got to get something together so I can Start soaking this crap. Man, look at all the junk. Look at all that. All this junk. And it's not even clean yet. Boy, oh boy.
Happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, so good. Well, that's it for now. Just gotta let it soak. All right, let's play a game of good news, bad news. Good news. This stuff has been soaking overnight. I'm ready to clean it all up, wash it all off, and do all that good stuff. And I've got the carburetor kit for it. The bad news. This carburetor kit does not have one of these. So I ordered another one, and it's not supposed to be coming in until Sunday. So I need to make a decision if I'm just going to go with it. The way it is, and uh, I don't know if I'm just going to use it, build it all, and hope that the old accelerator pump is good, or do I wait till Sunday to put everything together? Uh, I don't know. It, I, it's a little annoying. I wish I had the parts. So I'll probably wait, um, which means it's going to take me a little bit longer to get old Bevo running. Um, but in the meantime, uh, let me get this carburetor all cleaned up and uh, ready for reassembly when the parts come in. A couple updates before I get busy after this thing. I cleaned out all these ports with like my air uh, nozzle. So cleaned out all the ports on all pieces of the carburetors that I possibly can. So, and then the little pieces as well if I needed. So just, you know, squirting them all out, making sure they're all nice and clean and, and flow through and all that jazz. Two, you know, I found... This is the, you know, the accelerator pump. Um, I guess it's supposed to, uh, I really hope it's supposed to slide on there. If not, then it's definitely a problem. Anyway, they had like a new silicone bushing for it. So I put that in. It seems to do what it's supposed to do. So we'll find out about that. So maybe that doesn't come with the whole kit and caboodle here, but it does come with the the rubber, um, I don't know what you want to call it, diaphragm for it. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, last thing I found out is this carburetor's got a boss for what they call an idle uh circuit was it idle circuit idle enrichment valve and there's a hole right here and i you know i traced it to the main body here but luckily that's just bottomed out it's plugged up so uh, i was worried about not having this but it, it 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 doesn't actually do anything on this carburetor anyway perhaps it's been bypassed in the past so I don't know these things that well, but I got it cleaned up and I'm not going to go step by step on this because this video would be an hour and a half. Um, but I did print out uh, the um, the instructions which have, you know, they have the, uh, the whole schematic, what everything is, kind of how it goes together and uh, all that good stuff. So and there's even adjustments on here that... I'll need to make once it's time so that's pretty cool and uh, yeah I'm gonna get after it here in just a second
Okay, so the time lapse probably isn't going to show all the nitty gritty because I'm going to be completely honest with you and let you know I took this thing apart several times. Um, probably about three times to make sure I got the accelerator pump right, the valving in here right, and uh, to be honest with you, you know, the, the instructions have it all here. You know, they, they kind of tell you how to set... Um, set your adjustments and your metering rod your pump adjustment fast idle all that kind of stuff and there's a reason it comes with a little measuring stick so if you take your time when you take these things apart and you pay attention to how you take them apart take pictures before you do and then put them all back together usually it goes pretty well at least it does for me the thing is i am not an expert on carburetors and i'm not about to say i am so i don't really go into a lot of depth on carburetors i just think that they are something that if you're mechanically inclined you can do you just got to take your time get comfortable set up clean put it all back together read the instructions make sure you have instructions in a good carburetor kit that kind of thing well i got up this morning and i got after it let me uh give you guys an update of what i got done one obviously the new carburetors in place um, and all hooked up and all the new vacuum lines PVC line and everything else is done but that um, I pulled out the original um, oil pressure sender and this is it this, this dude's pretty nasty I'm going to say this is probably no good uh, <laughs> and I've never had a gauge work on the truck so I went ahead and installed a two, two gauge kit real quick down here uh, so we got the oil pressure everything needs to be tied up out the way it's just temporary for now and I got a water temp however the water temp's not hooked up because the plugs that are on the intake manifold take this uh, it's kind of hard to see what the way the shadow is but it, it takes what looks like a, would be a 3 8 inch um, drive you know from a ratchet but it doesn't fit it's they're too big um as far as sorry the the three eighths is too big for that square hole so i need to look into what i can get in there to try to get those get one of those plugs out so i can hook up the uh the water temp sensor so right now it's just you know hanging out here on the intake manifold also shot back the intake manifold because it was pretty nasty um still still dirty but better and I changed the oil this is the old oil filter I'm not sure how old this dude is but it does not look like it's been changed in a long time and I'm a little concerned because yeah one I've never ran an oil pressure gauge because I just assumed it wasn't working but when I pulled that filter off there wasn't much oil in it which is a little concerning but I think we're to the point to where we can try to get this thing started I'm going to try to let it use the choke. Um, I've got all the linkages hooked up with that. And uh, I'm hoping we're in business. Probably going to have to make some adjustments. So I do have my screwdriver if it comes down to that. And uh, yeah, let's see if this thing will run. Hadn't tried it yet. God's honest truth. Oh, I also cleaned out the uh, fuel line just to make sure there wasn't nothing in it. And... Uh, I don't know what to expect <laughs> so uh, in theory it, it looks a whole lot better so maybe it'll run better but I just don't know so let's uh let's hook up the battery and get after it all right I'm gonna try to get two of these uh camera shots going for you let's see if we have oil pressure because it's gonna take a minute to fill the bowl up anyway whoa you gotta be kidding me How did that fire so fast? Oh, oh, we got old pressure too. You gotta be kidding me. Holy cow. See, coming up the gauge there. This thing's idling. No problem. Holy cow! Did 
you gotta be joking me. I didn't prime anything. Well, that's running a whole lot better. I think I could raise the idle up just a little bit, but it's on the fast idle. Wow. That's nuts. Wow. It runs like a top now. You, wow, no way. How bad is it smoking? Not real bad. Wow. Okay. Well, that was our problem, ladies and gentlemen. Choke's even working and starting to open some. All right. All right. Starting to warm up a little. Oh man, it runs great. It runs so good now. I don't see fuel dripping anywhere. Well, okay, so what was that about? Is that because we're off of the fast idle? All right, well, that's a fantastic start. I think, uh, I think we're on to something. Well, very happy with the result in that. I did let it run for a little bit longer, and uh, it's not quite as happy warm. Still running pretty good, still idling on its own, so that's good. Um, it just seems fat uh, when it's uh, warm. I don't know. Uh, probably can do some adjusting on it and get it a little bit better, but the best thing about it is it just it fires up and runs and idles now. And, that's awesome. That's a step in the right direction. So now I got to work on the cooling system. So I need to buy hoses, new thermostat and all that and get that working and then find a way to get the, uh, the gauge working uh, for the temperature so we can monitor it. And then I can try to just start driving it a little bit more and see, see if it's getting any better. I just don't want to get it like nuclear hot <laughs> uh, before that. So I'm at a stopping point now. I'm going to Enjoy the rest of the day, and, and uh, I actually got somebody coming over to look at something today, and uh, I'll be excited to share that with you if all goes through. But anyway, she looks good. She's running pretty good. Uh, needs a tune-up too as well, so I'll get all that done. But man, I'm very happy to to have like fixed that little hiccup there because that was really really bothering me that it stopped running so good. So. Anyways, I'm going to move on and uh, we'll see what's up next. Um, hopefully taking this thing here to the track soon and, and you'll see that. And then got something up with this as well that I'm going to start on tomorrow. So keep an eye open for that stuff. Um, you know, I, we really appreciate you taking your time out to watch these videos. I know I say that in almost every video, but it, it's true. Um, yeah, nothing's as important as someone's time and we surely, surely appreciate your time and your attention to our videos. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. If, uh, if you like this stuff and you think one of your friends will like it, share the channel with them. Um, also, we're only on two social medias and that's uh, Instagram and Facebook and you can catch us there at the Racer X Garage. And uh, you can always check us out online at racerxgarage.com. So that's just a, a little plug of what we got going on. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you on another project soon or back on the Ram Charger. Or, but you know, we've got a whole lot going on. So always, always something to check out. So until next time, you know the deal. Y'all be good. <laughs>